Hey guys, welcome. Uh, this video is going to be about the EG4 Power Pro wall mount all weather batteries. Uh, I just picked up uh, two of these, ordered them in August, and they just got delivered here at the end of October 2023. So these batteries, I got them for my uh, DC solar trailer. I'm going to use them to replace leaded acid batteries and get the weight of the trailer to uh, decrease so that it'll be easier to tow. And uh, in this video, I'm going to show you the batteries themselves and then walk you through what I'm planning on doing. Okay, here are the batteries. Uh, we have two of them here. They came in a very nice crate. Uh, I have uh, the communication wires that will go between the two batteries. And then these are parallel cables that uh, I'm going to connect these to the batteries themselves. And then the other ends are unterminated. I'm going to put uh, connectors on them and get them uh, wired into a Lynx distributor that I think I'm going to fuse them. 400 amp fuse, but I'm going to look at the uh, manual that comes with the uh, EG4 batteries and see what they recommend. This is uh, my Ford F-150 Lightning. This is what I'm going to be using to tow the uh, DC solar trailer around town and uh, to different events. Uh, last uh, weekend I powered a VIP tent at a local car show called the Gregory School Car Show, which was put on by the Tucson Rotary Club. and uh, trailer did really well. It powered the whole tent from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m., uh, about 4 kilowatts max load. Uh, we had a good sun day, so a lot of it was coming from the solar panels. So this is uh, some video and uh, some pictures from the car show uh, showing uh, what a great selection of vehicles, but also it shows the uh, DC solar trailer, the F-150, uh, powering the uh, VIP, VIP tent here at the, at the show. These are just uh, still images of the truck and the trailer powering uh, items at the show. Uh, here you can see the uh, Raspberry Pi that I have set up and also the Smart Shunt showing data. And this is me uh, towing the truck and trailer back to uh, the office. So this is the DC solar trailer we have. It's, uh, it doesn't have the light bars, but it has pretty much everything else. You can see that uh, there's a Kubota 11 kW generator, two uh, lead acid battery packs. I think they're 48 volt, uh, 400, sorry, 540 amp hour each. And then we have like a 110 plus gallon diesel fuel tank at the back of the, the trailer. We also have uh, 10 uh, solar panels, 270 watts. I think they're called Talison, five on each side. Uh, I've modified this trailer a little bit. I put a backup camera that you can see back there. It's uh, wireless, it helps me see what's behind me when we're driving. And inside the cabinet, you can see that uh, we have uh, the uh, Sunny Island inverter, uh, two of them. And we have the AC distribution box. We have some AC 120 volt outlets. We've got the Midnight Solar Classic charge controller. And then we have a Midnight Solar uh, DC box that you can switch off the Midnight Solar or the solar panels coming in, which are parallel to each other. This is a uh, Raspberry Pi running uh, Victron OS that's uh, telling me the production. These numbers actually aren't right. These are. This is connected wirelessly to my network, and that's getting data from another set of uh, inverters. Sorry, yeah, it's getting from a SMA 7.7 uh, solar inverter, but this is correct. I've put a smart shunt in the system, and this is actually what's coming to the battery. It's quite low because obviously the panels are not in the optimum direction to the sun. This is the smart shunt I just temporarily put in a bag and protected it from shorting and from the weather. I'm going to be adding to this trailer uh, tire pressure sensors. They'll integrate with the uh, Ford truck. There'll be a wiring harness. There'll be a TPMS module that picks up the signal from the sensors. And then that cable comes all the way to the front and will plug into the uh, Ford truck. So we'll have the tire pressure. Uh, we'll also have uh, a backup, another camera. So the system comes with a camera. And I'll put the Ford camera back here as well near where I have the, uh, the wireless camera and uh, that way I can display that signal on uh, the, the, 
actual dash of the truck rather than a separate display that this one has here. And uh, what we're going to be doing is, you know, kind of outline this removal. I think we're going to have to remove the fuel tank first, and then we're going to bring these, roll these back, roll the batteries back, and then in the place we'll put these uh, EG4 Power Pro batteries, probably maybe in the same orientation, one battery in the front, one battery in the rear. If it's possible that I could have them two side by side, I might do so. Try to get the weight around the around the tires, around the axle, center line. But I think it's probably going to be just like we have right now, where we'll replace one for one battery. I think they're 300 pounds a piece, so a total of 600 pounds. Where these guys are, I think they're over 1,300 pounds a piece. Uh, there's a person on YouTube who showed the weight of these batteries. But it's going to be a substantial decrease in weight, which will be uh, beneficial for the towing range and the, the package here. And then, uh, step by step, I'll be using the Midnight Solar with uh, lithium-ion settings for charging uh, that match the specs on the, on the EG4 spec manual, or maybe even a little bit less voltage-wise. Um, and then I will uh, think about maybe putting an SMA AC inverter, solar inverter here get rid of the midnight solar so have everything AC coupled for the charging and have the charging then go the AC will go through the uh, sunny island and then that'll go to the battery okay guys that's this quick update video um, as I get further along taking things apart I'll show you the progress of that this is gonna be the wiring harness for the truck and the trailer that I was discussing and uh, I'll probably do a video on the install of that and then I'll also go over how you can use the uh, backup assist with the Ford F-150. Um, so it's going to be kind of a hybrid video between the truck and the trailer and how I'm using both of them together.